let's see the so called very lengthy question it says a firm is located at each of the two places a and b from these firms an item has to be transported to the places p q r so there are two firms a and b so i have drawn these two firms a and b and from these two firms we have to transport certain commodities to p q r so these are p q r so that means from a to p something has to be transferred from a to q then from a to r similarly from b to p from b to q from b to r right now these places are depots these depots have the requirements of 5 5 and 4 units so these places are called depots and they have the requirement of 5 5 4 units production capacity of the firms a and b are 8 and 6 units so production capacity is your 8 unit and 6 units respectively cost of transportation per unit cost of transportation per unit is given below so this is the table from and to cost pqr now a to p the cost is 16 so a to p the cost is 16 then a to q cost is 10 so a to q cost is 10 then a to r cost is 15 so a to r cost is 15 again the column this one row is complete the second row says b to p is 10 so b to p is 10 then b to q is 12 so b to q is 12 last but not the least b to r is 10 so b to r is 10 now i assume that from a to p x units are being transferred so i say that there is this x units here i assume that okay from a to q i say that y units are being transferred and now when i know about the x units and y units then i also know that here x units and y units corresponds to the units while this 10 16 are rupees so let's write rupees everywhere these are all rupees so rupees 10 rupees 12 and rupees 10 now this is 5 units which is the requirement and i know that x units are being transferred over here so remaining requirement is only of 5 minus x units similarly q has the requirement of 5 units y units are already being transferred so the left out requirement is 5 minus y units similarly the third step you see is there b to r already four units requirement is there and i know that 5 minus x 5 minus y is there so 5 minus x 5 minus y has been already transferred to these things so what is left is your 6 minus 5 minus x plus 5 minus y because these two when add up they are uh, going outside and that is the exit 6 is there from 6 this is the exit so what should be the final answer like of this the final answer should be 5 plus 5 is 10 minus 6 so minus 4 plus x plus y so that is there the other thing this is left still as you can see this is your x units this is your y unit here you need 4 and here it is already 8 so now 8 is already there so this should be 8 minus x minus y now the question is not complete until and unless we form an objective function and the constraints so this is the schematic for following the equations that you have to form so i know that what is my objective function that is z and i'm supposed to minimize the cost required for z now as you can see 16 rupees and x units so for one unit it is 16 units for x unit it is 16 x rupees not units then 10 into y so plus 10y plus 15 into this whole thing uh, my dear students let me tell you it says per unit so cost for one unit is given if you have x units you will multiply by x if you have y units you will multiply by y so 15x is 120 then minus 15x minus 15y next we have to move on to this factor now 10 into 5 is 50 minus 10x then here is 12 5 is 60 minus 12y 
then here it is what? Here it is 10 multiplied by minus 4 which is minus 40 plus 10x plus 10y. So let's cancel whatever cancels and let's reach the final z. So the final z is 16x. Here is 15x which makes it only x. x minus 10x is minus 9x. Minus 9x plus 10x is again x. So it is x. Let's move to the y factor. This is 10y. 10y minus 15y is minus 5y. Minus 5y minus 12y is minus 17y. Minus 17y plus 10y is minus 7y. About the numbers, let's see. 120 plus 50 is 170. 170 plus 60 is 230. 230 minus 40 is 190. So, 190. So, that is your z. Now, if z is known, I already know that my x and y should be greater than or equal to 0. The units can never be negative. Next constraint, these all constraints should be greater than or equal to 0. Because you see that the passage is there and these units cannot be negative. So, again, 8 minus x minus y is greater than or equal to 0. I write it here, 8 minus x minus y is greater than or equal to 0. Then I say that x plus y is less than or equal to 8. Moving here, 5 minus x is greater than or equal to 0. So, x is less than or equal to 5. Moving here, 5 minus y is greater than or equal to 0. y is less than or equal to 5. Now, x plus y minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. So, x plus y is greater than or equal to 4. So, these are the constraints and this is how you do it.